All right, here we go with the first semester properties of matter review. Our key concept number one is matter has physical properties that can be observed to determine how matter is classified, changed, and used. Simply put, matter is the stuff that every physical thing is made of. Anything that has mass and takes up space is matter. The particles that make up matter are called atoms. Atoms are too small to see, but they are still there. Atoms are made of protons and neutrons in the central nucleus surrounded by electrons. Individual atoms are the building blocks of matter. Everything is made of atoms of different elements. You can see here this is just a model. Atoms combine to make molecules, which are the smallest parts of a substance. The, the green spheres, which are kind of blue in this picture, represent atoms of hydrogen. The red spheres represent atoms of oxygen. Atoms of hydrogen and atoms of oxygen combine to form water. In one molecule of water, you can see two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom. Properties. Matter can be described and classified by its properties. A property is a character or feature of a substance or an object. How does the matter behave when it's placed in water? What if it is stirred into water? How does matter react to a magnet? Some properties of matter describe how substances behave in the presence of other substances. For example, what happens when objects are exposed to water or magnets? What happens when objects are exposed to energy? Key concept number two. Physical properties describe the appearance of an object, including mass, the amount of matter, color, strength, hardness, flexibility, reflectivity, magnetism, attraction to a magnet, physical state, which is solid, liquid, or gas, relative density, does it sink or float, Solubility, the ability to dissolve in water. Response to heat, does it melt or evaporate? And the ability to insulate or conduct thermal or electrical energy. This is a nice picture right here to let you understand some of the properties of matter. In previous grades, students should have learned that the properties of matter described mass, texture, how does it feel, solubility, does it dissolve in water? Transparency, can you see through it? State of matter, solid, liquid, gas, size and color. Other properties of matter can also be observed and measured. Hardness is the resistance to scratching. Reflectivity is shine. Electrical conductivity, does it conduct electricity? Thermal conductivity, does it conduct heat? Magnetism and density, is it heavier than water? If you look right here, this is a nice visual. State of matter. The state of matter is a property that describes whether a material is solid, liquid, or gas. It covers characteristics of materials, particles, such as volume. How much space do they take up? Spacing. Are they packed loose or spread apart? Shape. Do they have a definite form or not? The movement, are particles just vibrating, flowing, or moving apart? Molecules in a solid have the least amount of energy, move the slowest, vibrate in place, are packed the closest, have a definite shape, have a definite volume, and are the least compressible. Examples are ice, wood, cloth, metal, and rocks. You can see here, this is the solid packed tightly. Liquid. Molecules in a liquid have more energy than solids, move faster than solids, slide past each other so that they take the shape of the container, have an indefinite shape, have a definite volume, and are not easily compressible. Examples are milk, water, juice, and ink. You can see here, this is liquid. They're a little bit more spread out. Gas. Molecules in a gas have more energy than liquids, move faster than liquids, expand to fill a container, and have an indefinite shape, have an indefinite volume, and are easily compressible. Examples are oxygen, 
hydrogen, nitrogen, and methane. Hardness. How soft or hard an object can be used to describe it. Scientists use hardness to identify the types of minerals in rocks. Yes, some rocks are harder than others. Talc is a type of mineral that is used to make soft powders. Quartz is a type of mineral that is used to make hard glass, such as the cover of a watch. Quartz is much harder than talc. You can see here, fingernails can scratch the softest minerals, like talc or gypsum, that have a hardness of 2.5 or softer. Pennies can, can scratch minerals with a hardness of 3.5 or softer. And quartz has a hardness of 7 and can scratch a piece of glass. Reflectivity. Why can you see yourself when you look into a mirror? The mirror is reflective. It bounces light back into your eyes so you can see yourself. And the two sets of pipes, one set is made of steel and one set is made of iron. Steel is a reflective metal and iron is not. How can this property help students identify two sets of pipes? Some objects, such as diamond or quartz, have a glassy shine or luster. Other objects, such as silver or copper, copper have metallic luster. Magnetism. Magnetism is a physical property of some metals, such as iron. A magnet may attract or pull objects made of iron toward it and can pick up some of them. Not all metals are magnetic. Aluminum, copper, tin, and gold are not attracted to magnets. Nonmetals such as plastic, wood, and paper are also not attracted to magnets. Some objects, such as an iron nail, can become temporary magnets. If a current is passed through a wire coiled around a nail, called an electromagnet. The ability to conduct electricity, electric energy. Materials that allow energy to pass through them easily are called conductors. Many metals, including copper and iron, are good conductors of electrical energy. Wires used in circuits are usually made of copper because it is a good conductor of electric energy. Insulators are materials that stop or slow the flow of energy. The light bulb in this image over here um, turned on the circuit because the copper in the wires and the piece of aluminum are electric conductors. The light bulb did not turn on in the circuits with rubber or wood because they are insulators and do not conduct electricity. The ability to conduct thermal energy. Pots and pans are usually made of metal because they conduct thermal energy well. The molecules in metals are very close and can transfer heat quickly to surrounding molecules. Heat insulators such as rubber, wood, or plastic do not transfer heat easily. Materials with pockets of air such as a quilt or styrofoam are also good insulators. Here's some pictures of insulators and conductors. <clears throat> Solubility in water. Solubility is the ability of a solid to dissolve in a liquid. To dissolve means to interact with and spread out evenly in a liquid. Because sugar and salt both dissolve in water, they are classified as water soluble. Many solids, such as sand and iron filings, are not water soluble. Students may think the solute, the, the material that dissolves, disappears. The molecules of the solute, such as the sugar and salt, simply separate from one another and spread out in the solvent, such as lemonade, tea, or coffee. The solute is the, is the particle that dissolves in the solvent, which is usually a liquid. Key concept three. The density of an object affects whether the object sinks or floats when placed in a liquid. <clears throat> Density is the amount of matter packed into a specific volume. This is why metals are dense. They have a great deal of weight packed into a small volume. Objects denser than water, such as rocks or marbles, will sink. Objects less dense than water, such as plastic toys, will float. However, 
If you can spread out a dense material over a big space, you can make it float. Boats and ships are built on that idea. The metal floats because it is spread out over a large area of water.